day that I first met you, you had two youngins and a dog. The very next day, you sat me down and you said we had to talk. You told me that you'd loved me since the day we done first met. Now a week later, we're married and I'm wishing I'd have put you to sleep at the vet. Cause you're so mean to me, you killed my favorite dog. You cooked him up in the stew you made out of that roadkill. You're so mean to me, you done slept with all my friends. You don't even care that one of those friends was your cousin Bill. Cause you're a redneck girl. That's how rednecks roll. The day we first met, I was hunting with my friend Keith. And you were so cute, I didn't pay attention to the fact that you had no teeth. Now I keep forgetting why I'm here with you. There's absolutely no sex appeal. Then I remember that the reason I'm staying with you is because of your home-cooked meals. But you're so mean to me, you wash the mud off of my truck. I got an image to uphold and you don't seem to give a flying hoot. You're so mean to me, you drink all of my beer. Woman, when we go fishing, I gotta have some alcohol right here. But you're a redneck girl, and that's how rednecks roll. <laughs> but girl, when I get mad, you cook me up some butter and grits. Mm. They make me feel better, but would it kill you to get me a look at your big old mitts? Oh, evidently, cause you're so mean to me, you're tearing me apart. You have a freaking shrine in your closet dedicated to Dale Earnhardt. You're so mean to me, we're in the 21st century. So if a black man comes up on our porch, don't scare him off with a shotgun. That was the FedEx guy, you idiot. We're in the age of racial equivalency. But you're a redneck girl. Tear it up, Ethan. And that's how.